Hey guys, welcome to Balance Now Zen and Pow. Today we're doing a little kettlebell workout. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I teach the format called Kettlebell Amped. It's kettlebell routines for graph two. Awesome music. Uh, so it's up to you if you want to do this to a song. If you know a song that has a good beat that it would go with, that's great. Totally up to you. But today we have three different moves, all right? Now you're welcome to repeat these as many times as you want. But I'm using a 10 pound kettlebell. You could do a 5, an 8, a 10, a 12, 15. Um, I would suggest staying somewhere around a 10, but it's totally up to you. Especially if you're new, um, two kettlebell in general, maybe go a little bit lower. But what we're going to do to start is holding the bell, the round part of the kettlebell. And we're going to get into kind of a squat position, but it's kind of wider than a parallel squat. It's so more like a sumo. But we're going to do a squat, which is called a counter, and then to shelf. We're going to go to the opposite corner here. So, just to show you first, I go from that counter, I'm still in that squat. So if I turn here, I want to make sure my knees are behind my toes, chest is up, core is tight. So I'm in that squat, counter, and then I go across the body to a shelf. Now, the thing about kettlebell is the farther away the weight the kettlebell is away from your body, the more difficult it's going to be. So, I can make this easier by coming here and just bringing it a little bit closer to my body, or I come into that squat and then go all the way away, straighten my arms. All right, so we're gonna do eight on one side, eight on the other side. In between though, we're gonna do some front presses. Again, arms coming straight forward from the chest, or we can keep the elbows bent to keep it closer to the body. Last move we're gonna do is just some squat pulses. We're gonna hold the corners, the horns, and we're just gonna keep that core tight and pulse it out. All right, are we ready? In four, three, two, one. Counter, shelf. Exhale, boom. Four more. Here's three, two, one. Center front presses out, in. Six, five, four, here's three, two, hold this last one out, long, squat, counter, other side, cross, good, exhale, reach it out, four more, remember that modification, and keep it closer to the body, last two, squat, pulses, we're going to stay here for a set, now, we're going to repeat it one more time, and you're free to repeat this as many times as you want. Four, three, bring it back up, hold the bell, counter shelf. Here's seven, six, five, four, three, two, front presses, front. Here's seven, six. Five, keep that core tight. Four, three, killer for the shoulders. Squat, counter to shelf. Boom, last time. Here's six, five, four, three. And then we go into squat pulses. One, here we go. Boom, core tight. All right, just like I was, if I was sliding my back up and down a wall. Here's four, we're almost there. Three, two, stand it up or keep going. Make sure when you bend your knees and always bend your knees to pick up and set down that kettlebell, right? We don't wanna pull anything in our lower back. Kettlebells are great, it's functional fitness and also the shape makes it so um, it's more challenging and we're able to work more muscles to stabilize the off shape versus a dumbbell. So check out more kettlebell routines. They'll be posted and have a great day.